All right, man. So look, we back at it again with another video. And y'all, this right here is my boy Samson, bro. I'm so ready to check this one out. Okay. This is my first time hearing this, John. You know what I'm saying? I just found out this man dropped another song. I haven't heard from him since he dropped 46 April 13th. So if you're going to go ahead and check it out, man, this is What About Us. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, man. Hey, it's free. I'm telling you, it's free. Go ahead. Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, enough wasting y'all time. Let's get it. Let's go. If you get them an inch, they'll take a mile. Don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me. You don't think I deserve protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about me. Gated oh, community. Wait, 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 Samson. I wasn't, bro. I, bro, hold on, wait, hold on. Pause, pause. Bro, you've been gone. You've been gone for how long? How, uh, bro? How long since been gone? Since like what? Five months? Six months? Seven months? And you come back with us, you come back to us with this? Bro, I wasn't even prepared for this. Uh-uh. Uh, we rewinding, bro. We rewinding that jump. This man Sam's bro. He finna speak, bro. He finna speak his stuff. If you haven't, if you don't know who Samson is, bro, he finna speak his man. Don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me. You don't think I deserve protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about me. Gated community, that's what you live in. Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in. So come down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? Nah, me, motherfucker. I I'm the only one that's got my back. It's dog eat dog. These are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan. What the? Bro, shit, bro, what, bro, what? Yo. Yo. Samson. Cal Samson, calm down, buddy. Calm down. C look, calm down. C calm down. This, bro, this man going stupid. Bro, he's bro, he's speaking straight facts though, straight facts. I don't, I don't think y'all pee what he said, bro. I don't think y'all pee what he said. Oh man, he got me hyped, bro. He got me freaking. If somebody were to beat up my mother, who's gonna be there to save our lives? You, nah, me, motherfucker. I'm the only one that's got my back. It's dog eat dog. These are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because their cars ain't got no gas. Ooh. Great. Police don't have any fuel. You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them. The babies are starving. My girlfriend can't find a tampon, and yet somehow you and I are the problem. Somehow. I've never bought a gun without having my background scanned and approved. The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through. It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run. It's funny, the people that say that shit have literally never even shot one. Dumbass. Hey, Matthew McConaughey. Shut the fuck up. Just cause you murdered people on screen doesn't mean you know shit about guns, you dumb fuck. What, you worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin before you start telling me what to do, okay? You Valdi? I was horrified. He is throwing, bro, not only is he speaking facts right now, this man is throwing shots. He is throwing freaking shots. Not only is he speaking facts, but he's throwing shots. This, bro, Samson, you, Samson, Samson, bro, this, bro, man, we wasn't ready for this, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This, this right here was definitely worth the wait, bro. This right here was definitely worth the wait. This man is me, man. How about you go talk to Alec? Bar after bar. It's so hard. I can't even, bro. It's so many bars. He's just saying it after, after, like after each other. If I was to dissect this entire song, bro, this would be a, like a whole hour video. This would be an entire hour video if I was to dissect every single lyric that this man just said. 
Alec Baldwin for you start telling me what to do, okay? You Valdi? I was horrified by it. That's your hometown, you were born right by it. It probably cuts deep and I hope that it does cause you work in an industry that glorifies violence. It's more your fault than it will ever be mine. Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career cause I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Yep. What do you think is gonna cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review? Or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news? So next time that you wanna point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it. Remember, it ain't me that they're trying to be like, dog. It's you that they're trying to mimic. I feel way more... Samson, Samson, Sam, this this is what we not go do, okay? This is what we not go do, buddy. You're, bro, you're, you're just, I, man, I can't even give a sentence out. This man got me stuttering. He got me freaking stuttering. I, I have no worries right now. This man is a freaking goat. He's speaking his heart out. He's speaking facts after facts. You know, people, I, I realize something. I don't know if y'all been noticing this lately. But a lot of people like that do political videos or, you know, a lot of people that talk about political things or things that's the truth. Anything that's the truth, it don't got to like, not even political. If it's just the truth, you feel me? It's getting less views on YouTube. But you got people that's talking all this nonsense that's blowing up, blowing up, skyrocketing. But then you got people like this who's speaking the truth who only got 106,000 106, views. Okay? Keep 106,000 views. Within three days. <sighs> Come on, man. Wake up. Wake up. You see what they doing. Wake up. More safe in a place where the people are legally armed. If something happens opinion and chime in with it remember it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog it's you that they're trying to mimic wow i feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed if something Facts. happens like a mass shooting i have a way less chance of being lethally harmed the criminal is gonna think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their i don't think y'all called that i feel more safe in the place that is legally armed Hold on, wait, hold on, let's go. Way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed. If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed. The criminal is gonna think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes. And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but <laughs> have you seen Chicago? And no, before you ask, I don't wanna be like You talking about my home You talking about my hometown? I'm from Chicago. No. Sam said no. But I mean, he's speaking facts, though. He is speaking honestly facts. Have you seen Chicago? We, bro, I'm. I can't wait until this woman is out of freaking all. I can't wait. I, I just can't wait. It's it's itching out of my skin. I can't wait to she out. Me and my homie was just talking about this the other day. We was like, bro, this is ridiculous, bro. We need her out, like ASAP. Like, get her out of here, homie. Ev, look, hey, I'm right with you, Samson. I'm right with you, brother. All right, with you. Well, it's gonna think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes. And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but <laughs> have you seen Chicago? Chicago? And no, before you ask, I don't wanna be like Canada either. And I don't wanna be like Australia. I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter. There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens, like fucking throw them in camps. And there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit, cause they know that they can't. If you don't think for one split second that if we didn't have our second amendment, the government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against. That you're out of your mind I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam But I for one fucking don't And why would I? What have they done? Give me a reason for me to believe them They want to trade me a little security In exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom They don't want to take away guns Because they care about you And they want to keep you safe at night They want to take away guns Because it's easy to control people If they don't have any way to fight Hey buddy, what's your little ear? Bro, he, bro, he, bro Bro, Samson is speaking straight freaking facts right now, dude. He's speaking facts. This right here is what we probably need to be showing our kids, okay? Th this right here, we need to show them the truth. We don't need to show them this LGBT and this pride. We don't need to show them that. This is right here what we need to show them. The fact that the government is lying to us. The fact that everything, the, the fact that everything is a lie. You know what I'm saying? We're being controlled. You feel me? This is what we need to be telling our kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I have children, this is what I would tell them. I'm not going to sit there and tell them about, hi, so look, 
we're going to sit here and we're going to learn about the LGBT community. We have to love everyone, okay? And we have to accept people for who they truly are, which is true. But then, you know what? Love and be who you are. So if you want to be gay, be gay. Like, I'm just not going to tell my freaking seven-year-old that. But something like this, this is the truth. And this is what needs to be out. And this is what needs to be put into kids' brain. So when they grow older and be 18, 19, 20, they know the truth. And they're not following along with what the government says. But that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother topic for a different day. Okay. What are 15 gonna do what the government comes to take it? Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded. So what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does. But if the day comes, I bet that you're gonna wish that you had something. This is the only country on earth where the people have real strength. And nowadays, with all the shit going on, it's the only thing that makes me feel safe. If there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic, all of the shit that we have is fragile and it can snap at any second. Fuck all of the politicians I don't trust anything they say Take the word gun out of gun control And that's all that it is at the end of the day but I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit But our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship uh, I'm done, uh, I'm done and as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one. But I think that if we can send over $50 billion to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes. Bro! Sam Samson, chill! We, we wasn't supposed to talk about that! Chill! Chill, Samson, chill! Oh, this, bro, this man is real. He has really lost his marbles. He, bro, he's, he's done with the BS. He's done. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Yes. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. He's not lying. He's not lying. But our kids, they're important. Just not as much as you. Wow. Bro, first of all, first of all, I want to say... Shout out to Samson. But not only that, I want to say, bro, that message at the end is something that needs to be heard. You feel me? I didn't think about it like that. Everybody that's important on this earth, everybody that walked this earth that's important, celebrities, presidents, government, they all they all are, are protected by guns. But when it comes to our children, when it comes to places like malls where kids go and dumb teens go, it's not protected by a lot of security. I feel like if the malls was protected by a lot of security, uh, you know, certain things will happen in the mall. Fights, shootings. I'm I'm specifically speaking on Chicago because we done had plenty of shootings in the mall, plenty of fights in the mall. And then not only that, I feel like if schools was protected, you know, high schools, middle schools, elementary schools, kindergarten, preschool, daycares, if that was all protected by, by security and, and by strength, like, like he said, real man that's not going to sit in a hallway for 45 minutes. You feel me? But if, if our schools are protected by, by, you know, guns, it would be less school shootings. It wouldn't be this. Me, it, do, guys wouldn't be able to just walk into school and shoot up a school with so much ease. It, it just wouldn't happen. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. Hey, shout out to Samson, bro. This song had me on the edge of my seat, boy. I didn't know what to say. Boy, I didn't know what to say. Literally, if I dissect every lyric that this man said, I kept pausing. But if I literally dissected everything, man, this video would have been an hour, bro. Right now, it's only 14 minutes, but this video would have been an hour. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.